Alrighty, hello guys. It is uh, nice to be here for tonight's stream. I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit shorter, like for reals. I know that say I say that every stream, but I'm thinking maybe an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about an hour and a half for tonight. But until that time is up, we have lots of fun to be had, and we even have a special deal on Champion's Path tonight. Have it a little bit cheaper than usual. Uh, I only got a couple more packs once again. I did add a Cosmic Eclipse and a Forbidden Light. And then a couple other things I just got an extra of. Welcome, my puffy fish friend. Nice to see you. And also tonight, I actually can probably open a couple packs for myself, which is exciting, because I haven't done that, really, the last few streams. So yeah, that should be fun to actually get to do tonight. And hopefully we'll get some orders and just have some fun. Let's see, I gotta make sure all my stuff is ready on the computer. Alright, it looks like we're set ready to have some fun tonight. Uh, while I was out shopping um, fairly unsuccessfully for Pokemon cards, I actually did find some supplies for the Viking funeral. And I don't have the ship ready yet, but I have some materials for the ship. So that should be in the works fairly soon. I'm pretty excited about it. The, the, the great things you can find at the dollar store, it's some pretty nice stuff, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I went to like, I went to Walmart and Joann's and I was like, none of these things here are going to work. And then I went to the dollar store and I'm like, whoa, I can use this stuff. I don't know why I don't just always go to the dollar store first because it's like, it's just so much better. The dollar store is superior in finding stuff to make Pokemon card biking funerals. It just, it just is. So yeah, that's a, uh, that's what I did this afternoon. Oh, um, did I, wait, no, I already said that I got a new Forbidden Light pack. I forgot that I already said that. I'm just gonna start repeating myself until people start talking. I will just, <laughs> I will just keep forgetting what I've already said. Um, well, I mean, while we're waiting for some people to show up, um... I could open one of my personal packs I have to open, cause that would be fun. So why not? Got this lovely sleeve Lapras pack from Sword and Shield. Let's open this. If it will open, that is. No, we're just gonna we're gonna use the scissors. Yes, repetition. Yeah, yeah. I am like, I'm pretty good at repetition. Sometimes not though, but generally I think I'm not half bad at it. Alrighty. There is that code if anybody is looking. Where is a pen? There is a pen. Hey, welcome, Eham. Nice to see you. I'm just opening a pack for myself real quick because I actually have a couple things for me tonight. So it's pretty exciting. Welcome, Polka Cards 21. It's good to see you. Alright, we've got a grass type energy to start us off. Whoops, we got an Aurora energy. Look at that fancy double. He's just he's just chillin'. Alright, we got a quillfish. Puffy, look, is quillfish. This might be you in the future. <laughs> and then we've got a Chin Chow. We've got Sizzlipede. Glaring Zigzagoon, Little Knitted Muna, Snom, I love Snom. We have a Clavipus for the reverse, and our rare is, <gasps> it's Lapras! Lapras from the Lapras sleeve. I am, I'm happy, I'm appeased. Lapras is a glorious, glorious Pokemon. Why is he that successful? I think, you know what, what if I just... Put my Lapras right there, so Lapras can, like, be be there for everyone to see on the stream. Beautiful. 
All right, I think that was a nice way to start off, if I do say so myself. Alrighty, get those set in the pile of bulk. And I think that was a fun way to start off for the night. See, we're getting more people in the chat now. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully, we'll get some orders for some fun stuff tonight. I mean, orders for anything is fun stuff in my opinion, but, you know. <laughs> I, I just, I always get excited to um, open Pokemon, if you guys haven't figured that out by now. I'm a little bit of an addict, I guess you could say. But I mean, I feel like it's a decently healthy addition. Addition? Wow. I meant addiction. But by healthy, I also mean, like, just not bad, per se. Yes, I did get you, puppy. I got you out of the first pack of the night. I say that was pretty, pretty alright. Of course, we we haven't seen an opal, but you know, there's a chance that we will see one tonight, and that she won't get hurt or anything. So you know, we've uh, we'll uh, hope for the best with that. Special deal on Champion's Path. Yes, indeed. I I decided that tonight I was just gonna go a little bit cheaper. I got gifted some Champion's Path today, and I was like, you know what? I'm in a good mood with Champion's Path. I just got some. I think I I think it's all right to lower the price a little bit for tonight, and I have a lot available too, so it should be fun there. I just have to stop myself from opening all this the champion's path stock on my own. I will do everything in my power not to hurt any more opals, Puffy. I I will I will try my best. But there is only so much I can do. Also, I've been trying to get a hold of more evolutions, but the only stuff I can find is so expensive. Like if I there is one place I can get it, but I basically have to like charge like $15 for a single packet of evolutions and I'm like that's just so much money I don't feel like I don't like want to have to make people pay that much I don't know maybe there's someone out there that would want to but I just feel like that's so so expensive for a single pack of evolutions so I'm just keep trying to find other ways to get a hold of evolutions just not been super successful this week but hopefully next week might be a little better I'll keep on checking stores. I still haven't seen any Hidden Fates in Walmart. But, once again, that is just something I'll keep watching out for. But next week, my main focus is going to be Shining Fates. Because that is going to be very exciting. And I will try my best to find as much as possible of that. I'm kind of anxious about how well it's going to go. Actually finding things, but... I'm really hopeful. I hope for the best. And if all else fails, maybe it will distract everyone from buying other products so I might be able to find other things. Because that would be pretty nice to really find anything. But like, ideally, Hidden Fates, Champion's Path, Evolutions, Cosmic Eclipse, you know, all that good stuff. <sighs> yeah, Lost Thunder and Forbidden Light. Those are some of the packs that it's like, it's hard not to just keep those all for myself, but I'm like, if I keep doing this, I'm just gonna run myself out of business, so I gotta, gotta control myself, because they're cool sets, like, I don't know, they're just like really attractive and fancy, like, look at these like, beautiful arts. Like, I just love them. You know, you get the fancy Zygarde and the, the, like, mysterious looking Celebi art. Like, I just love it. I love the pack art. I love the, the sets. Hopefully, yes, hopefully the scalpers will get distracted by the new stuff. So the slightly less new stuff will be able to be found. I'm also hoping to work on getting some more of the McDonald's packs this coming week, but I kind of forgot to go to McDonald's today. <laughs> just kind of got distracted from that, so it did not happen. But there's always tomorrow and every day next week. Until then, I just, 
I mean, I had three packs yesterday, and I opened one on stream one before, and then I ended up opening one after because, you know, sometimes you just can't help it. Let me see if I can find where I set my cards. Oh yes, here we are. See, this is my, this is my other. These are my three hollows I've gotten so far, and I absolutely love them. And I'm very excited to get even more. I'm very happy. And I mean, like the, the normal cards I've got, I've gotten two Pikachus, which I kind of think is fantastic. And other than the normal Cyndaquil to go along with the Hollow Cyndaquil, I haven't had any other duplicates. So, not bad. Pikachu is not a bad duplicate. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've gotten out of the McDonald's promo set so far. I think it's been pretty alright, and I'm just very excited to get even more. I I hope that I can at least get one of each Pokemon from the set. Like, hollow or not, I am not too worried. I just, <laughs> as long as I can at least get one of each Pokemon, that would be good enough for me. Ah, uh, yikes. Winter storms aren't very helpful uh, <laughs> for trying to get places. Luckily, it's been a pretty mild winter for me. Like, we had some rain tonight, but it's been pretty chill. Maybe snowed three different occasions that, like, the snow was, like, on the ground, but it has not been bad. Just bought all the non hauls for 20 bucks because I didn't feel like driving to every McDonald's. I can't blame you, to be honest. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a lot of work to go and try and get a hold of all of them. My mom is just on board, so it's just, me and my mom are just going to hang out and get me all the McDonald's cards, <laughs> and that's good enough for me. Because, I mean, I, I don't exactly have the time, but I just pretend I have the, the time. Yeah, I don't think singles should be too bad. I probably won't buy any singles, of course, but maybe I will sell some if I get duplicates. I might just use them for giveaways, because that's kind of more fun. Oh, hey, Liam. It's nice to see you. Sorry I couldn't start early, but it took me as long as I was expecting to do homework. $80 for the Hollow Pikachu already? That's so absurd, like, I get it's cool, but, like, dang, it's like, well, I guess, I guess people just do what they do. I, I don't even know. Mm. I've got some nice, uh, raspberry lemonade today. It's pretty fancy. Alright, let me check for any orders real quick here. Looks like none yet, so we can just keep hanging out. I mean, we've only been going for 14 minutes. For some reason it feels like it should be longer, but it's only been 15. That's, that's all good. I mean, it's technically 14 and 19 seconds, but... <laughs> Sealed Elite Trainer Boxes. The only Elite Trainer Box that I have sealed right now is my Vivid Voltage one that I'll be opening at 400 subs. This is the only sealed Elite Trainer Box. I am, I'm fairly low on sealed product. Yeah, just my Vivid Voltage sealed box. All my other stuff that's sealed is like a few V boxes, some random Mars Shadow box. Got some Tapu Coco box thing too. And I have my ultra whatever trainer box collectible thingy. Oh, that's not very long. Two minutes. Well, we'll make the best of two minutes. I mean, we may not be opening anything, but we'll just talk and that's cool, right? <laughs> Hopefully eventually we'll get to opening some stuff. 
Maybe, maybe by your next break, if it's anytime soon. <laughs> it was, it was nice to have you while you could come. Fortunately, yeah, tonight I just was not able to start r very early. I was out shopping till like seven, and then I was distracted for a half hour, and then I did homework. Well, it was nice having you, Liam. Good luck with school, and we'll hopefully see you another time. And welcome, McFlurry, to the chat. It's nice to see you. The moment we've just been vibing a little bit. Got only a few new packs tonight, but we do have a special Jill on Champion's Path. Hey, nice to see you, Patrick. I'm glad to see that you're not a ghost or anything tonight. That's... That's nice to, to to see you alive again. We like it when our chat members are alive. It's kind of nice. I think my plan for probably tomorrow or maybe Monday is I've got to construct the boat for the Viking fu for the Viking funeral, and I'm kind of excited to do that. But I've got to find some like good glue for it. But, I guess, I've, I've got to figure it out. I've also got to, I, I bought, um, balloons. Like, long, like, balloon animal balloons. So if all else fells in the boat won't float, I can just kind of, like, tape those to the side of it and make it float. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. Yes, we've got one pack of Lust Thunder. It's one of our three, like, special finds for today. Lost Thunder, Forbidden Light, and Cosmic Eclipse. Yeah, the Lost Thunder was actually something I had bought a while back. Maybe, like, back in November? But I just had never ended up opening it myself. And then I was like, you know, I bet somebody would really love this. Oh, banned from your phone for a week. That's kind of harsh. Yeah, that would not be very, uh, very pleasant, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, if I didn't have my phone, my life would be so, I don't know. I mean, I would be able to stream. I don't know what I would do, like, when I wake up and, in, and before bed, I would just kind of, like, sit there, like, it's so lonely, it's so quiet. There's no random internet people on my phone. I mean, I could just get up and walk across the room to my computer. But, like, that takes so much effort. I don't really want to do that, you know? Rather, like, just already... Just have my screen in front of my face when I wake up. That would be ideal. <laughs> Alright, let me double check for any orders. Looks like we still don't have any, so we can keep hanging out. Maybe in like 20 to 30 minutes from now, I'll open another one of my packs that I got. At least my phone blue discount is switching to the ghost. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that will be a, a nice way to know without us having to awkwardly ask. So, I mean, uh, that's something. So, yeah, that's something. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness, more yawning. Yeah, I'm quite tired. I mean, I kind of woke up and, like, actually, like, woke up all the way fairly quickly, and then it was just kind of weird, and I was like, I want to get up and do stuff, so I didn't for a few hours, and then I did, and I went shopping, and I like had dinner and then went shopping again, I got home and did homework, and now I'm streaming. It's like, you know, it's not been a half bad day, but I'm tired, and I still have a lot of homework to do. So that is why the stream will be a little shorter tonight. Probably just go 
another hour and 20 minutes, somewhere along those lines. But it'll be a good time. And even if we don't have a ton of sales, I actually have my own stuff to open. So it'll be exciting. Oh, also, we are only four subs away from 400, last I checked. So I'm fairly certain at this point that we should be able to have the foreign sub subscriber celebration next week. Which is super duper exciting. I'm very ready for it. I'm excited to get into the, the Elite Trainer box and just have a good time. And then, and then we'll, we'll uh, try and grind to 500 because I really want to open my big fancy box collection thing that I keep forgetting its name. Ultra Premium Collection. That's what it's called. That. I'm very excited to open that when I get to 500. I just, I just hope it's not another, like, three month thing. I want it to be like, can it be like the one week where I went from 100 to 200 in a single week? Like, let's do that again, but with like 400 to 500. Cause I feel like, I feel like that would be pretty nice. Just, you know? It would be pretty cool in my opinion. So I say we, uh, do it. I feel like that's pretty decent reasoning. <laughs> Well, things are pretty quiet at the moment, so I think I'm going to open a pack for myself. And this time, I think I might just open Champion's Path. So, uh, I guess I'll hurry and update the board first. Just awkwardly erase that. It's actually not a bad three. I'm proud of myself. I'm improving my random writing onto the whiteboard skills. You call grass energy. Alright, let's see. There's our code card. Do a little scribble and uh, send that away. Let's hope for something exciting. Ah. Uh, Patrick, it's fire energy. You, uh, you have been, uh, outsmarted by the pack. Alright, starting off with a Pierce. We have Team Yelbrunt. Hop, we've got three trainers in a row, wow. We got Rolly Coley. Got Carvana. Have Potion. Aw, cute little rock rough. Have a Weedle. Got a Bijo for the reverse in our final quality. Is a Galarian Obstagoon. Not the most exciting, but, uh, you know, could have been a Machamp. Could have been a Scrafty. So, you know, I'll, I'll accept this. Quick research every algorithm exploit for your 407 bikey funeral videos. Yes, I will so overly exploit them. I know. No opal. Maybe next time. Yes, we will we will figure out every algorithm exploit we possibly can so that there will be no way that the Viking funeral and the four hundred special will fail. In fact, not even just not fail, in fact they will succeed so extremely. Maybe maybe I'll even get to six hundred in a single week. That would be quite the week, can I just say? I would also have to come up with what to do for a 600 sub special, but you know, I would be willing to take that burden upon me if it meant I got to 600. That would be pretty cool. I mean, I really have next to no plan for when I get to 600 because there's a good chance it'll be a while, but I like to imagine that I can find a way to make it happen sooner. I've got a few random products I could open. I could just open, like, several boxes. Like, I've got an Alakazam box. Um, then maybe, like, a Hatterene. And then my Marshadow box. Of course, that would leave me with basically, uh, no, um, <laughs> sealed, like, boxes. But if, if it meant that I could get to 600 in, like, a week to a week and a half, that would be, that would be so cool. I would, I would open all my stuff. 
What I'm really, really getting excited for is whenever I get to a thousand because I'm stockpiling a bunch of packs. And it's gonna be so cool. We'll have so much to open. I'm so excited for it. I just gotta, um, actually get there. Hey, yes, if everyone shares it, it can go so far. We'll get, we'll get it to so many people, so many places. It'll be everywhere. And it's pretty easy to find something that's everywhere. I would, uh, I would say at least. Oh, goodness, more yawning. An acceptable issue, exactly. You know, figuring out what to do for a 600 subscriber special, like, that's, that's not half bad. And honestly, if, if I needed to, I could really just, like, be like, alright, I think I will buy something that's slightly more expensive than I would prefer, but for the sake of a uh, last minute special, I will do it. I am willing to uh, make sacrifices for the great people that watch me and help me get to where I am. And by great sacrifices, I just mean buying more stuff for myself to open. Even if it's kind of a uh, higher price than I like. But I mean, a lot of stuff is a higher price than I like lately. It's kind of, uh, kind of sad. Did you check? No, I haven't checked out the automated apps yet. I have like a bunch of things that I need to do, and I just kind of basically forget all of them ten minutes later. I have so many sticky notes all over my desk telling me things to do. Out of like the three or four things, I partially completed one of them. And those might not even be all the things I need to do. Yeah, I didn't even write down looking for the, the, the apps that'll automatically share stuff. I'll write that down on, on the paper now. And maybe one day I'll get to all of these many, many, um, sticky notes. Yeah, I'm really good at being busy lately. Oh, actually, all the time, really. I'm just, I just can't stop myself. I'm like, if I'm not doing a million different things, I must be slacking. And then I do a million different things, and I'm like, I still must be slacking. And I don't know if that, uh thought process really works out so well, but uh, I guess uh, it is what it is. Hey, welcome Kyle. Nice to see you in the chat. Um, not much has happened tonight. I've just opened a pack of Sword and Shield and a pack of Champion's Path for myself, and nothing special out of either of them. Other than that, we've just been chatting and talking about future things that I'm excited about, including a 400 subscriber special, a 500 subscriber special, Viking funeral. So I'm thinking I'll hit 400 subs sometime next week, and definitely hoping to do the Viking funeral sometime next week. I've got most of the supplies for it, I just gotta plan the, the actual how it's all gonna work. And when. I'm gonna have to do like some kind of uh, poll on my server and be like, what time works for people to come to this Pokemon card Viking funeral? Hey, welcome Gabriel. I don't know if you've seen me here before, so it is nice to see you. No, Puffy, of course pulling you out of a pack is special. I just mean, I don't, I don't think Kyle, um, would uh, understand that, but but it's special in my heart. I will I will remember it. <laughs> the Lost Thunder and Forbidden Light. All right, sounds good. I will mark those off the board. I'm getting so good at marking stuff off the board. It's like I'm a natural. Except it took me like a month to <laughs> to get used to it. But, you know, I'm improving. Let's see. I lost Thunder Pack and our Forbidden Light Pack. Yes. So there we go. And as soon as I see that paint, we can get those open for you. I keep losing where I put my pens. 
really not helpful to myself. I should like stop losing my belongings. I should just stop losing anything. I mean, that's not very likely though. All right, sent, awesome. Let's see if we've got that. All right, yep, I see it. Let me get it accepted and we will get into opening those. Transport to... You're very welcome. Excited to get to open these packs for you and hopefully we'll get something exciting. Alrighty, let's go. We can start off with this Lost Thunder pack. And you'll have to let me know if you want to keep the code cards for yourself and have me send them to you later. Or if you don't want them, if I should just show them on the stream for whoever may want them. So just let me know with that. Let's just sit that down for now. Let's get this card trick done. And see what we've got waiting for us in here. Get a psychic energy to start off. Electro power. Zatu. Aw, cute little bay leaf. We have Litwick. Oh, it's Combi! I love Combi. We have a Marini. Ooh, Larvitar. Oh, I love Slowpoke. Ooh, that is a beautiful Steelix Reverse Rare. So make sure to get that in the sleeve. And let's reveal our final card. Dang! Wow, that is a beautiful card. Tyranitar GX. That is, that's stunning. Let's get that stunning card right in the sleeve. That's fantastic. I love the artwork on there. I wish, I wish, I wish they would like do like, um, full art cards, more like this kind of style. That would, that would be so much cooler. I love that. Let's also get that reverse rare into its sleeve. And I can show the code cards, awesome. I will get to that momentarily. Ready? There is that. I'm sure someone out there is appreciating that immensely. Yes, I'm glad you like it. Like, honestly, that is a fantastic pull in my opinion. Okay, let's get into this pack of Forbidden Light. Huh. It looks like we've got another error pack. Every once in a while we get one of these that doesn't have a code card. Also, I don't really know what the if the card trick is going to change with the error packs. But, you know, I guess let's see what happens. Right, we've got a cleft key. Araquanid. Have a lady. Frogadier. Oh, I like the Gumi. The background is just kind of like quirky. I don't know. Oh, it's Inky. Inky. Wow, that's Inky, not E. Wow. Don't just ignore me. Get a Scatterbug. Dupider. Skiddo. A Pancham for the reverse. A beautiful Zygarde for the rare. And there's an energy behind it. So I guess we just had an extra card or two in there. Still got two beautiful cards. Both fighting. We got... Both of them are fighting. Alright, let me grab a little bag for you and get those in there. And then I have several ways in the description below that you can contact me. And any of them work. Instagram, Discord, email, uh, Twitter. Just send me your address, let me know where to send these, and I will get them on their way. Alright, let's get my desk cleaned up real quick. I'm glad we got you that exciting GX card. Yes, thank you very much for the orders. Those ones were fun to open. It's always, it's always nice to get to see a GX pool. As cool as these are. Honestly, I feel like I like EX and GX cards better for the most part. I mean, VMAXs are a different story, but in terms of re regular Vs compared to EX and GX, 
I definitely like EX and GX better. Yes, you're very welcome. I'm glad we were able to get an exciting pool for you. Hey, welcome Asian Gamer. It's nice to see you. It's been a, been a little bit. You just missed a beautiful Tyranitar GX pool. It was... Oh dear. I don't know if... Oh dear. One second. I accidentally restarted the page, so I don't know if that froze the stream, but we're fine. It didn't die. It was just my bad. And maybe it didn't do anything. I don't really know. But either way, I promise it, the stream isn't messing up. We've actually had a fairly smooth stream tonight, which has been nice because we don't always have the consistently smooth ones, but today seems pretty alright. I mean, I did remember to close all of the tabs on my phone before I started, and I don't always remember to do that, so that was, that was pretty good. Heck yes, beautiful Tyranitar. Tyranitar is like such a cool Pokemon, I hope they make some more. Tyranitar cards. Seems okay. Alright. I just accidentally reset the the page. And I was like, wait a second, is this gonna mess up the stream? I'm glad I'm glad it just I'm glad it didn't like mess things up. Oh. Ooh. Oh man, that's too bad. Yeah, streaming on laggy devices is not the funnest. I mean, my Wi-Fi just occasionally doesn't work, and that's annoying enough. Use I have a desktop. I do the streaming on my phone, and it connects to the desktop via Wi-Fi in order to stream. It's pretty fancy. But yeah, I got I've got a desktop just chilling next to all of my Pokemon stuff. You can kind of see it to the side there. Because honestly I like desktops more than laptops. I mean like laptops are convenient for travel but I just, I just don't really vibe with them. I like having an actual mouse, you know? <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot preferable. I mean at least in my opinion. Whenever I use a laptop, I guess I just get a, I connect a mouse to it anyways, but you know, desktops, you, you gotta get one, so. <laughs> yeah, now you, uh, you know my stance on laptops versus desktops. They both function, but desktops vibe with me more. <laughs> yeah, and so it's nice, because then it's connected directly to the ethernet, so at least the the desktop doesn't have any connection issues. It's just when my phone decides to act up. <sighs> Desk with no connection. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Ten fingers. Sounds like fun times. Oh. Pineapple? Yes, pineapple. That's... That sounds pretty nice. I don't know what its application to the current conversation is, but... Nice. That's my, uh, response to it. Oh no! Oh dear, I think I see where this is going now. I'm not sure how to feel about that. So I'm just going to casually take a drink of lemonade. <sighs> Very refreshing. Alright, let's see real quick if we've gotten any more orders for tonight. does not look like it yet. <laughs> oh, now we now we get a fight going on. Puffy says just pineapple. And the Asian gamer is uh, doing his own thing. Oh no, oh no, this is getting very controversial. 
Maybe I should stop commenting on the comments. Pineapple! Now that, that I can agree with. I can agree with Pineapple. That is very relatable right now. Yes, I, uh, I relate to that deeply. <laughs> Pens! You know, I, uh, don't know if I've ever met somebody that, uh, that likes that on their pizza before, but... You do you. I'll just stick with cheese and pepperoni. Like, lots of cheese. And crisp pepperoni. Mmm, delicious. And I kinda want pizza. Cause I didn't eat enough today. Pizza sounds nice. Cause I ate lunch at like, 3.30 in the afternoon. And then I ate a really, really small dinner. Like, I don't know, 5.30? So pizza sounds kinda nice. I'll probably just end up eating weird random stuff after the stream. Though, I, I don't have pizza. For marker, yeah, marker on your pizza. I I uh, prefer like uh, uh, damage counters. You know, they're quite tasty. Convenient that I uh, I uh, have so many of them. See, look how tasty that looks. Doesn't that just make you want to just throw it on a pizza and eat it right up? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you prefer, it's gonna end up being permanent. I mean, at least the damage probably will be. Alright, I'm gonna check for orders again just because I like to do that by refreshing my pages a bunch. For door? Oh no. Yeah, for me it's uh it's either pepperoni or uh, damage counters. That's uh that's how I take my pizza. Well, it's been pretty uh, chill, and I uh, kind of want to open more stuff for myself. And since I can, I think I might open a pack of Guardians Rising because nobody really seems to buy those. But I honestly think Guardians Rising is pretty cool. So I will open one for myself. So let's see what we get inside. I once did a booster box break of Guardians Rising with some friends. So that was pretty exciting. Hand that lovely code card off to anybody that is interested. And throw it away now. Alrighty, we've got a fighting energy to start us off. A beware. Have an Alamomola. What a name. It's a uh, palindrome. So fancy. Have a choice band. A little insane shrew. Murkrow. Helioptile. Chop. Oh, it's Slowpoke! You got a Ve Beldum for the reverse and an Alolan Sand Slash for the rare. Nothing too fancy, but not bad either. He's in collab. Things are bad connection. Oh. Yeah, collabing is gonna be intriguing, considering that. Made six pizzas. That's pretty respectable. I've made uh, pizzas a few times, and it's... I love it. I love making homemade pizzas, because then I don't have to put sauce on them. I just cover them in like a ridiculous amount of cheese and pepperoni and it's just beautiful. Yes, Beldum. We got Beldum. Reverse Beldum. Pretty cute, if I do say so myself. Pizza is too thick. That is a large pizza! Four inches tall. That sounds more like some kind of like, uh, cake. Like, that's not a pizza pie. That's a pizza cake. 
Because I don't think pies should really be quite so, so, uh, so thick. 99% <laughs> crust. That is a lot of crust, uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> it takes practice to eat this thing. Yeah, um, I've made them with a friend. And we use like homemade dough and it was pretty easy to make it thin you know we just squished it down a lot it was amazing but when i make them with my family we just use this pre-made dough and usually it's like that thick it's pretty uh it's fairly thick but it's not bad yes making making uh personal pizzas for everyone is epic except that some people in my family have the audacity to not like pizza and it's just it's so saddening like why can't you guys all just enjoy pizza you just pizza should be something we universally love oh looks like we've got another order it's like jose is gonna get us opening some uh, cosmic eclipse so let me mark that off the board just poked myself with the whiteboard marker all right that's been accepted so let's get into this fancy smancy pack of cosmic eclipse Rainbow Rare Nessa, dang, that is a seriously phenomenal pull. Nessa is kind of like super cool, and the Rainbow Rare, like, that's so epic. Right, there's that code card there. Oh, wow, that was a really weird throw. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we've got inside of here. We have a water energy to start us off. A Golduck. Will. I don't know if I've ever seen Will before. Oh, it's Mimikyu. I love that. We have a Passimian. Oh, Jingma. Oh, I love it. Little Rowlet. Skrelp. Pikachu. Heck yes. And a Lolan Grimer Reverse. And our rare card is. It's another Mimikyu! That's kind of funny, they've got a, um, an uncommon and a rare Mimikyu in this set. Honestly, I like the uncommon more though, not gonna lie. This is like, I don't know, it's just cute and mysterious. I mean, the clay one is cute too, but the other one's just kind of, kind of just a little bit cuter. Also, um, since there was a Pikachu in this pack, if you want that, Jose, you can always keep Pikachus, so just let me know if you're interested in that one. I'll get these other cards in your bag. Let's see. Alright, there we go. Got those in there. Yes! Double Mimikyu pack! That's, that's what we like to see. Awesome. I will get that Pikachu in there, too. There we are. Happy little Pikachu. Well, I guess he, it's looking pretty serious right there, but... Pikachu just makes me happy, so I'll call it Happy Little Pikachu. Because, I mean, I don't know. Pikachu is just precious. We must love Pikachu. I mean... Look at this adorableness. How can you not just just love this? It's a cute little baby Pikachu. Pat pat. Absolutely precious. Set that back there. Yes, thank you very much for your order. I always love getting to open Cosmic Eclipse. And just like that, all of our special packs for tonight are gone. I mean, we still have our Champion's Path, which we have on a little cell. So at least we still got one especially exciting thing, but who knows, maybe some people will purchase some of our other packs we've got. 
Because, I mean, I know everybody else doesn't seem as excited about the other packs as I do, but, I mean, they're quite exciting to me. Also, I better update the Guardians Rising. I forgot to do that after I opened the one. It's like a happy little tree with Bob Ross. Yes. Pikachu is just a happy little, happy little Pokemon. So, it's just always happy. Alrighty, there we go. I think all of our boards are updated. So we are good to go there. 15 year old Pikachu Teddy. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't really own anything Pokemon until I got into it like nine or so months ago. I mean, several years ago, my younger brother had Pokemon cards, but I never had any interest in it at the time, and he got out of them fairly quickly. He just had some like neighborhood friends that wanted him to play with them, and but he eventually got bored of it. Kind of sad though that he got out of it and sold his cards because now I really wonder, like, what kind of good stuff did he have? It uh, is kind of sad that I will never really get to know. I mean, unless we still have like pictures somewhere from the post when we, when when he was selling it, but yeah, I don't know. He has gotten a few more things since I've gotten back into it. And one of the first new things he opened, like he had bought a box, I don't even remember what box it was, but it came with several packs, and in like the first, in one of the first few packs, he pulled a Ramble Rare Mewtwo, and I was just like, what? How? <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, I can't remember if I had pulled a Rainbow Rare before then, yet. I only have maybe three Rainbows? Three or four. Uh, yeah, I think three or four. Probably somewhere around there. But to see him get one so quickly, it was just like... This reminds you how it truly is just complete random chance what you get. Like, seriously, imagine getting a rainbow rare on one of your first packs. And I feel like that makes it, would probably make it seem like, oh, this must be normal to get this. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, it's not that common. <laughs> I mean, or there was a time when my little sister didn't really have any cards either, but she wanted some for Christmas, so she got a couple packs for my mom, and then I gave her three packs, and she pulled a rainbow rare in one of them, and I was just like, dang, I'm a good gift giver. <laughs> it was it was pretty exciting. I was happy for her that she got something that was like, you know, so fun like that. Gamble? I don't know about gambling. <laughs> what kind of gambling do you mean? Wait, what exactly should I specify in my purchase message? Ah, uh, just tell me what things you want to buy and what quantity. And then, and your YouTube name if it's not the same as your name on either Cash App or PayPal. For context, what? <laughs> First pack back into collecting out of full art. That's, that's really lucky. I mean, technically, my first Pokemon cards I ever got was ridiculously lucky because we got a cheap, like, mystery pack from Walmart. I think it was like seven dollars, so I guess it wasn't necessarily cheap. But it came with five promo Ashes Pikachus in it, making that single pack worth like seventy dollars or something. So I mean, I guess technically I can't complain about other people having luck because, yeah, that's how it started off for me. You know, I should really put on the board that you can choose whether or not to keep code cards. Because I, I feel like that's a helpful thing to know. It's gonna be so sloppy. Ugh. Oh 
no, I, I hate it. It's just too sloppy. That's so bad. Where's my eraser? I need to make this 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 terrible writing go away. It's a good thought, but a very bad um very bad uh, job uh, actually uh doing it. I got, I got a little sticky note now. It's uh, not gonna fit super great, but we're just gonna kind of stick it there and call it good. Last night's rip. Yeah, that Pikachu, absolutely insane. Yeah, that was that was a moment to to remember for certain. Oh goodness, I'm yawning more. Oh, and uh, Kyle, I'm guessing if you, what you mean by gamble is I open some Champions Path 2. I would be down tonight. Just let me know how much, uh, how many you want to do. And I'd, I'd be down to open some. <laughs> I mean, I've got a decent bit tonight, and I was actually just gifted some. The chew it, but at what cost? Life scarring. Puffy, it, the cost was life scarring. And also seven dollars, but mostly life scarring. <laughs> Buy all 13 champions path. Okay, let me, give me one moment. Um, I think I don't know if I want to go ahead and do that with all 13 packs, but I would do six packs for 24. Oh more to go. Oh Yeah, no, yeah, I can't sell all thirteen packs for fifty. <laughs> I mean, of course that the the odds would be fairly in my favor. But that would be a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, true, you have a good point with the odds. I mean, the thing is, is I just wouldn't open 13 packs for myself anyways. But I would do, I would do six for 25. But that is, that's probably the, uh, the most extreme I'd go. Let me get me a drink real quick. Mmm, yummy. Lemonade. It's comforting to the soul. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a big difference. I mean, even if I got to keep it all, I just, yeah, I'm, 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 I just wouldn't even open that much for myself, to be honest. I was thinking more like, maybe like, I don't know, three packs, but <laughs> all 13 of them, that's a kind of a lot. <laughs> oh, 
like to I like to play around a little bit, but uh don't want to do anything uh too risky. <laughs> I gotta somehow uh get more money to buy more product. <laughs> I mean that's basically what everything goes back to. I just send it back to my bank account and the next day I'm shopping again looking for Pokemon. Pretty much just mostly just refunds itself, but occasionally it does help me to get other things for videos, but I yeah, uh, for those that haven't noticed, I really haven't opened as much for myself lately. Because I've been trying to, you know, not uh, lose all my money to uh, a kind of uh, Pokemon purchasing addiction, maybe just a little bit, a lot, you know? <laughs> it's just it's just too fun to go out and buy Pokemon. It's a fun hobby, and I really vibe with it. I mean, it, it works great for me. I, I like to go out driving and, you know, jam along to my music and go to a bunch of places and find, uh, cards. I mean, it used to be more fun before I accidentally got in an accident, but I can't deny I still enjoy it. It's just, uh, a slightly more, uh, alert enjoyment, I guess, if that makes literally any sense. <laughs> Alright, 6 for 30. Yeah, that sounds good enough. You can keep either Zard. Alright, yeah. I'm down to do that. Let me grab those out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. There are those. Yes, it was uh twenty five, but I mean you can uh you could pay me thirty two. <laughs> it's uh it's up to you. Oh more yawning. I can't tell I am very tired. <laughs> Take the thirty I don't what to do if you feel like you're being ripped off? Oh, thank you. That means a lot. I, I I try to be cool, but I know there are a lot of streamers, so I appreciate that. I feel like I would be more comfortable doing 30, but I did say 25, so I mean, I don't want to go back on my word. <laughs> Just uh, awkwardly wait for the stream to catch up. Being 22 seconds in the future is kind of awkward sometimes. It really makes you realize how long 22 seconds is. It's a long time. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes it seems it, it is really short, but... Could we be 15 minutes? That sounds great. Yep, and take your time. I I will still be there. Be there, be here. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm just on my stream in my house. I mean, I could randomly take the stream and like, run somewhere else, but then I'd have to do it on data, and that's, that's just a bad idea. Cause uh, data costs money. So it's uh, probably better to not uh, use that all up. If I send you three for four green voltage, can you send it to Canada for the extra two? Um, that should probably be fine. Thirty for four vivid voltage, sending it to Canada. I think that should cover the shipping costs just fine. So that works. Because I would guess the shipping would 
wouldn't be extremely higher than to the to the US. So that should yeah. Thirty for four sending to Canada. That works. I guess I should also update the board right here. Do, 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 do. Brings us down to seven. Do, do. Yeah, I was figuring it wouldn't be super bad, so I think two dollars makes sense. Just that little bit more. Since they'll be like, whoa, look, this is different country. Gotta deal with the non-United States Postal Service. It's weird to, to think of the non-United States Postal Service. I mean, that's a really weird s way to say it. I mean, they probably call it the, the Canadian Postal Service. I would guess. That's my best um, assumption as to what they would call it. Then again, I have uh, no uh, concrete knowledge on what other random countries uh, Postal services are named. Because honestly, I have no reason to know why. It's honestly one of the most random things I uh, could be pondering. Actually, there are probably a lot more random stuff. I'm very great at pondering extremely random things. It's only a, a talent of mine. The randomness and I are one. International <laughs> shipping label. Yeah, I. I've shipped internationally three or four times. The can the Canada Post. All right, so so see, I was close. I just added an extra all and service. That's not bad. That's not bad. I was uh, I I got like half of it right. I just added extra. But yeah, uh, thank goodness my mom helps me figure out international stuff. Like when I had to ship stuff to Malta, that was exciting. And I've sent. Uh, an entire like box to England before. All right, yeah. So that shouldn't be anything extreme. Yeah, that sounds that sounds doable. Yeah, I think I think it's just Europe is where I've sent internationally so far. We can give up the cards. Alright, sounds good. Let me get that accepted and we will Yeah, Malta! I've sent things to Malta twice. For two different people even. So random. I can't remember if there's anywhere else international that I've sent stuff. It almost seems like there is, but maybe not. Ready? Alright, I got your order. Let's do those four packs of Vivid Voltage. Cut these beautiful packs. I have to you get the full art set. That's nice. Alrighty, let's get into these. Prizes. There just may be a lot of people in Malta watching. All right, and uh, to ever we we will be giving away these code cards and uh, have a special message from Totodile Tales. If you if you decide to take these code cards, you should definitely subscribe to his channel. I I also recommend that. So it's like double referral. So y'all should totally do it. There's probably the same people. I mean, there's a good chance. Oh wow, that was a terrible throw. Let's try that again. Much better. Ready? Yeah. The people of Malta really like like their Pokemon. Alrighty, we got a Fire Energy, Girafferig, Alistair, we have Cremorant, Execute, Eevee! I love Eevee. And a cute little Woobat, Aracuda, Dot. Ooh. An Electros Reverse Rare, so we'll get that sleeve, and a Ninjask as the final card. So let's get this 
very fancy card into a sleeve. If I can find the top of the sleeve, that is. There we go. Alright, on to pack number two. Heck yes, let's get an amazing rare. I'm ready to see another one tonight. How about like the Zacian? Does that sound like a good one to pull? Because I actually really want to to see the Zacian. It's like it's getting a lot of reverse rares lately. Also, reminder for whoever uh, snagged that code, subscribe to Total Dial Tells. Alrighty, we've got a Psychic Energy, Mac Cargo, League Staff, Krak Rock, Voltorb, cute little Rock Ruff, very, very sad Wismer, Trubbish, Tanamo. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> did I not, did I not just, did I, did I not just say that I wanted to see this tonight? That's insane. Okay, it's official. I can see the future. Holy smokes. We've also got an adorable Jolty on here, but like, dang. I just, I can't even believe it. That's, that's, that's wow. It's for reals. I, I called it. We summoned, we summoned Zacian. Zacian came. Holy smokes. That is, that's freaking epic. That is so beautiful. Amazing rares are just, amazing is literally like the best word for them. That's stunning. All right, that is awesome. That is so awesome. So far we've sleeved both things in the reverse spot. Let's see if we can get something in the rare spot to sleeve. I mean, is this a Chunkachu pack? Uh, wouldn't mind seeing another Chunkachu. Maybe even a rainbow? Ready? Reminder, whoever snags this code, please do subscribe to Totodile Tales. Alrighty, let's see what wonders await us in this pack. We've got a Welmer, Cottony, have a Clobopus, Electrike, Crocodile, another reverse rare, holy smokes, and a Lycanroc for the normal rare. Okay, so I think we're all just going to, uh, we're just going to put everything in the reverse spot in sleeves for you. That's funny. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, and welcome, Earth Adventure. Nice to have you in the chat. I don't know if I need to reset my Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, why is it being annoying to me? All right, um, it's like it's kind of working, but kind of both or not. So I don't know if resetting my Wi-Fi is going to help or not. So I guess let's just at least start opening this last pack. Hopefully it will keep working. Don't know what its deal is. If it if it keeps being difficult, just let me know and I'll pause the pack and reset my Wi-Fi. Ooh! It looks like we're just gonna be non-stop with these packs. Reminder once again. If you snag this code, you should subscribe to Totodile Tells. Send that away. And let's see some absolute fire in here. Alrighty, we've got a Water Energy, Sir Chester Bath, Hitmontop, Swoobat, Pick a Peck. I think you need to refresh. Is it still being difficult? It says, it says I've got excellent connection. I'll wait for just a second and see. Because now it says for me that it's fine. But if it's still, it's fine right now. All right, cool. We'll finish this pack. We've got a Choodle, Ryalu, Chimeco, got a Nankata, Matang. This one's actually not a reverse rare. How bizarre. I'm finishing off with a Zerora Holofoil. 
I was trying to say reverse because I've been, you know, reverses, but this is just a normal olive oil. I would say that was a pretty fantastic set of packs, though, considering we got something to sleeve out of all four of them. But especially that Zacian. Say it, those are some pretty good pulls. The Amazing Rare. For real, so that is such a stunning card. Zacian is just so cool. Yes, I do a lot of giveaways, actually. Well, I mean, not a, like a lot, a lot, but I do giveaways. I actually have some current giveaways running from some of my, one of my more recent videos. And I will have more giveaways happening once I reach my... 400 subs and do my 400 subscriber special. I'm trying to figure out what video it was that has my... Do you mind sending the evolution? Uh, which one was that? Evolution. Oh yes, I do need to <laughs> remember to change the numbers. I appreciate the reminder. I'm looking... What was the evolution? Oh, you mean the Jolteon? Yes, that is also in your pile. I was just showing you the sleeved stuff, but you also have these four other cards. These are just the non-sleeved ones. So here, let me pick up all of them. See, you'll be getting all eight of these cards. So yes, you will be getting the Jolteon. So that will be in there. Let me grab a pack to put those in. And thank you very much for the orders. Yeah, good luck in the giveaways. Like I said, I do have, I think, three giveaways going on right now. Uh, two of them are for code cards, but one of them is for uh, some cards and a coin. And then I'm hoping to do some exciting code card as well as card giveaways once I hit 400 subs. Most of those, the giveaways for 400 subs will likely happen live on the stream, so it will be ideal to be there, but I will also probably have some that will run for a few days. Alrighty, there is your fantastic pack of cards. I will get those prepped to ship, and you can send me your address in any of the ways below, and I will get those sent on their way. Awesome! Sounds great, Earth Adventure. Good luck in our future giveaways. You're very welcome, Toto That was That was a very exciting um, pack, pile of stacks to open. Definitely makes it fun for the whole stream. And like, oh, the Zashian, absolutely beautiful. Oh, dang, only two more subs. That's so exciting. What if, what if we get to 400 tonight and then tomorrow I can do my 400 sub stream? That would be epic. That'd be so epic. I'm excited to open an entire Vivid Voltage ETV. Puffy! You missed it! You missed it, Puffy! Look what we got! We got this just for you, Puffy! Look, look what we got for you. I hope, I hope, I hope this, this fills you with joy. We got you an opal, Puffy. <laughs> Awesome. Yes, you also missed a beautiful, amazing rare. Look, look at this spicy card. Absolutely beautiful. Yay! We have made Puffy happy with Opal. Mission accomplished. We are, we are, this is a successful night. We are, we've done good. And I mean, it's not even over yet. Once uh, Kyle returns, we'll have six packs of Champions Path to open, I believe. And if we get any more orders, still have a decent bit of stock. Oh, and I gotta update the Vivid Voltage. 
Let's get that done. Hey, welcome Gengar Blaze. It's nice to see you. You just missed some crazy excitement with pulling a amazing rare. I'll pop that back up on stream again because I mean, I can't imagine it bothers anyone to see such a beautiful card. My dad's phone mouse up right now. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> yes, Puffy, we got Quillfish and Opal just for you. <laughs> ah, I would say we've had lots of funny success for tonight. And another random success is I've been collecting all the snipped off tops in this tin rather than throwing them on the floor. And it is decreasing my mess significantly. I mean, of course, there's still all the rest of the package um, and the uh, code cards everywhere. But this is, this is improvement. The little snipped off top pieces are the hardest to clean up afterwards. So it'll be nice. Ah, oh, no more mystery packs still. I checked the store today. They're saying they should have some next week. But I have no idea for certain when they will. And I have shipped your stuff out. It should be on its way. I think as of two days ago? I would have to double check to see. I sent it, you can wait another 10 minutes. All right, that sounds perfect, Kyle. Just let me know when you're ready and we can get to those. Oh, and I will just yawn. Cause I am tired and also drink lemonade because yum. <laughs> Heck yes, you are legendary Earth Adventure. Thank you. I think I think we've got pretty decent chances that tomorrow will be the 400 sub special. That would be so cool. I am ready to see. It. What is inside this lovely box? Look how beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Put that back on its shelf now. And we get mystery packs. Yes, I love the mystery packs. It's like you really never know what you're gonna get, but they're so fun. 399, we're so close. Just one more and we will get to party big time. And then begins the epic path to 500. And I am going to grind so hard and try to make this as amazing as possible. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And until the store restocks on mystery packs, I may start trying to put together some of my own. I just keep, I just have not had the time. But hopefully before too long, I will have some time. Because, yeah, I mean, I want to do some more Smogon hunting as well. Smogon hunting is like, is there a much better way to spend time than hunting for Smogons in mysterious packs of Pokemon from, from who knows where? It's just, it's just a lovely time all around <laughs> and I mean I really want to see another Smogon and uh maybe even pull one that's that's the dream I gotta get a Smogon for myself all right we'll hope to see you back before too long Earth Adventure hopefully you won't miss too much of the excitement have who knows what mysteries are waiting for us in the champion's path and maybe we'll get to open some more stuff wait until after the champion's path and might open more stuff for myself because what is self-control we'll buy a fates collide and a vivid voltage sounds fantastic i've been excited to open some fates collide so let's see yeah they fates collide and a 
a vivid voltage. Then we'll get into opening those once the payment comes through. I think I might end up opening a Fates Clyde for myself too, to be honest. It's, it's just one of those sets that just, I don't know. This one I haven't opened a ton of, so it's extra exciting. All right, I see the payment. Let's hurry and update the board before I forget. And then we will open those. Enjoy my really sloppy eight. See if I can make this two any better. Oh yeah, that's, that's better. Alrighty, let's get into this pack of fates collide. I'm fast, so this should be there. Yes, we got it. So let's go. And I I always forget. You have to remind me if you want the codes for yourself or not. Alrighty, we've got a beautiful whimsicott to start us off. A duosian, devolution spray, little volibee. <gasps> you guys. We got a Smogon! We, we, weren't we just talking- I mean, it's a lesser Smogon, but we were just talking about this! This is- this is beautiful. I would applause. I- I would applaud if I- if my hand wasn't busy. This is- this is wonderful. We've also got a Mincino. A Diglett. Rayalu. Ooh! A very fancy special energy for the reverse. And the final card is, oh my gosh, I love that art. We got a Lucario with a beautiful Alakazam just kind of vibing in the background. You'll keep the codes, sounds good. I will get those set with your cards and send those to you on Discord later. That is, that's so pretty. Yes, yeah, see we got him. We got, we got the Lester Smogon. Absolutely fantastic. Incredibly exciting. Beautiful. Alright, and now for the Vivid Voltage. Keep all of them. Oh, thank you. I really, really love uh, the <laughs> cardio, so. Hopefully we can get you something good from Vivid. It looks like Vivid um, is good with that plan. Let's let's see let's see a chunk of you in here. Let's see a, a rainbow one in fact. So that's a small guy. Yes, that's so funny like right after you said that. It was like this is what we were just talking about. What a night. All right, we got a darkness energy. We have Delmis. Trumpeak. Sableye, Beldum, Milsuri, Wooper, I love Wooper, Ninkata, Wismer, Hero's Medal for the Reverse, and our final card is an Orbital V Full Art. Nice! That is cool. This is not one that I've really seen before. I mean, definitely not in person, but I don't know if I've watched anybody pull this either. Look how shiny. That's epic. Oh, of course, Smogon is our mascot. 100% yes. Yeah. Any big pulls tonight? It's been, it hasn't been half bad. We had a beautiful Tyranitar GX earlier. As you can see, we just pulled an Orbital V Full Art. And a little while ago, we pulled the Zacian Amazing Rare. So... It hasn't been a half bad night. Cut that card? What are you- I was like, I'm like, wait a second, what? What are you talking about now? Yes, yes, I am, uh, much more okay with, uh, with, uh, sending it. Is that the only one you want? Do you not want either of the reverses, either? Alright, I see you're back, Kyle. Let me just finish getting Gengar's stuff ready to ship, and then we will get into those. 
exciting packs of Champion's Path. Alright, well, there is that lovely. And I'm going to clean up this bulk. Oh, I'll also set your code cards with that. Do you have the champion's path? Yes, I have. I I have um the champion's path for Kyle right here, and of course I still have seven other packs sitting in the box. Wait, there's champion path. Yes, see right here. We've got. I'll move my lapras out of the way. We have a uh, sale on champion's path today. It's not a huge sale. But it's a sell nonetheless. And speaking of Champions Path, I think we're all ready to open this. So Kyle, let's uh let's see how this this turns out. Oh well uh that code was just waiting to be seen. I was still gonna double check if you were if you I can't remember if you wanted codes or not. So uh, if you do, I will have to get you a another one from somewhere because. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Gengar. I, I, yeah, it was kind of in a different place today. Well, um, let's uh, get into this. We've got a Metal Energy, Hatrim, Beedrill, Hop, Rolly Coley, Scraggy, Galarian Lanoon, Weedle, Ekans, Carvana, and a Grappalock V! First pack has a pool. Yes, all of my videos with giveaways, it mentions it in the title as well as the description. I think my most recent non-stream video was a was a giveaway one because I haven't ended that giveaway yet. I probably will early next week. All right, now time for pack two. This pack is being nice and difficult for me. There's my pen. There's my pen. Send that away. There we go. And here we are. We have a grass type energy. We got an Arbok, Rotom Bike, Suspicious Futin, Swobbly, Machiap, Glaring Zigzagoon, Bullpix, Rock Rock. Ooh, a slick. Reverse Fire Energy, and a Zygarde Hollow Foil to finish it off. I pulled two of those full arts from the same ETB. Ouch. That's, that's harsh. I mean, my first two pulls from Champion's Path were both the Incineroar V. In two different um, ETBs, <laughs> in fact. Dang, that's nice, Poker Trainer Austin. I've still not been able to find the Hidden Fates ETBs. I check Walmart almost every day. But alas, not yet. All right, well, time for pack number three. Let's see what we've got in here. Got all of the, uh, the code cards turned the opposite way today kind of weird. Ready? We've got a lightning energy to start us off. Got a cute little hat trim. Oh, it's a big teeny. So cute. We have Turfield Stadium. Glaring Zigzagoon. Inkay. Pokeball. Purloin. Weedle. A Hatina Reverse. And another Zygarde on the hollow. 
I got two Zygards in a row. I don't... I really hope the next pack doesn't have Zygarde too. As amazing as Zygarde is, I, I, uh, I don't need three Zygards in a row. Just, uh, to be honest. Oh, look, this one actually has a code card facing the correct way. Just must have been a few of them there. Alrighty. We've got a Psychic Energy, Suspicious Food Chin, is it Chin? That's a Tin. We have Malamar, <laughs> Great Ball, Full Heal, and Sizzlipede, Forloin, Ekans, Potion, Rotom Bike for the Reverse, and a... It's another Zygarde! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Three Zygards in a row. Okay, then. Just, uh, move on from that. Let's, uh, hope for not Zygarde. I mean, we want to see a Zard, not a Guard, if you, uh, know what I mean. <laughs> alright, alright, come on. Let's get the fire in this pack. Whoosh. A food chin would certainly be suspicious. You you carry a good point. Alrighty. We've got a metal energy starting us off. Have a rodent bike. Sharpedo. Piers. Swablu. Inke. Whoa, we're just pulling all of them at once, don't mind me. Hatina and Kakuna. We have Rock Ruff. Ooh, Lycan Rock Reverse Rare. And a <laughs> Okay, so does this mean that the, the last pack is going to have a grapple lock too? Like, is this what's going to happen? It, yeah, it's going to have another grapple lock. I, I'm calling it... I mean, at least we've got this here too. And at least it wasn't the exact same card, like all the Zygards have been. Alright, Tom, let's see what happens with the last pack. How about, how about we see a Zard instead of more weird Grapplock and Zykin, Zykin, wow, Grapplock and Zygarde hollows. Don't mind me in whatever language I am speaking. Come on, let's see the good stuff here. Whoosh. Alrighty. We've got a grass type energy to start off this final pack. We have Milo. Got a spicy Arbok shooting green fire. We have Bead. Hatina. Rakra. Potion. Pokeball. Carvana. Full heal. Alright, you guys, this is. This is. This is, um. This is it. This is the end. Whatever is, uh, here will be something. I don't know. Is it gonna be a Zard? Will it be a Zygarde? Will it be a Grapplock? You guys will find out after the break. <laughs> Just kidding. And it is a Santa Scorch. The classic Santa Scorch. But hey, it's not. It's not Zygarde or Grapplock. Can I have, pay, have those cards burned? I- you can pay me to burn all of these Zygards, I guess. If that's, uh, what you mean. I can, uh, throw them in with the, uh, the, the Viking funeral. Unless you don't want them to have an honorable death. Because, uh, I mean, the Viking funeral will be very, um, honorable in, uh, terms of death. <laughs> Whoops, I'm knocking the camera. Oh, wow. I got, I was so, like, in shock. I didn't even sleeve the grapple like the... Don't mind me just disrespecting cards out of shock. There you go, buddy. You go back in there. Well, we may not have pulled the Zards, but that was still exciting in its own way, I guess you could say. Because, you know, we got the guards. And the Garoppolox. Yeah, keep it. Yes. 
I think I think we'll make it to 400 really soon, and I'm really excited about that. Feed counts as opal because reasons. I mean, I'm all right with that. I honestly really like bead though. I recently pulled a full art bead and that was pretty epic, not gonna lie. Maybe I'll, I'll pull it out and show everyone because it's cool and I like it. And yes, thank you very much for the orders, Kyle. That was, uh, that was exciting t in its own bizarre way. I mean, the, the, the triple Zygarde's was enough to, to make it wacky, but then double grapple off, like, wow. That, uh, that doesn't happen every day. At least I don't think it does. At least not to me. Maybe someone out there does this and just has infinite champion's path and they pull three Zygarde's in a row every day and two grapple locks. I don't know, some people have weird lives. <laughs> see you gather those all up now I just I just just like seriously triple zygarde wild absolutely wild alrighty let me clean up my area now I keep making it messy I'm like a professional mess maker. I, I, I really shouldn't be because it's not very fun to have messes, but you know. <laughs> Alright, let me check for orders real quick. And you know, we keep talking about giveaways, so how about we do one? I think we should do a giveaway. Let's do... Hmm... Uh, let's do a pack of sun and moon. To enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is pick a number between 1 and 20. You can only pick one number or you will be disqualified. So, yeah, everybody can put a number 1 through 20. And then we'll ask uh, a random number generator to choose the winning number. And, yeah, let's, let's do this. I'll give it just a couple min minutes to... Enter. Since I know Earth Adventure wanted to enter. Oh, wait, there we are. Alright, I just wanted to make sure Earth Adventure was still here. Also, Puffy, um, 400 will not win you anything. So, uh. Oh, wow, we've got 410, purple, and 14. Uh, this variety is great, but it's not gonna benefit some of you. <laughs> But I mean to each their own. Maybe somehow the random number generator will uh, mess up and choose purple for the win. Because you never know. Sometimes weird things happen, I guess. Alrighty, let me get this ready. Thank, thank you for, for choosing an actual number, Kyle. I appreciate it. Wait, oh, no, I hit 400! Oh, that makes a lot more sense! That's awesome! We did it, guys! We've done it! It's official. Tomorrow will be the day of the 400 subscriber special. I mean, we could just pretend this is a 400 subscriber special, but I gotta, I gotta get a chance to announce it. Puffy was right! Puffy, Puffy picked the right number! Oh, that's awesome! That's so exciting. We did it. We, we, we done got to 400. This has been a long while in the making. I don't even remember when I hit 300. This, ah, uh, this is so exciting. Oh no, are we having some lag for, for the celebration? We don't want lag. We just want a party and stuff. All right, let's see, we've got Four entries in the giveaways. Giveaways. It's just one. You doubted the puff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just confused. 
All right, I'll give us, let's give it like 30 more seconds for the giveaway. And then we will figure out who the winner is of this lovely Primarina pack. Oh man, no, that's so exciting. We have a 400 subscriber special tomorrow. And then sometime next week, we'll have our Viking funeral. It's all going to be amazing. The delay, the delay. Oh yeah, yeah, the delay. Yes, I'm still living in the future and it's confusing. Right now we have five entries in the giveaway. We've got, I don't really know what uh, it compares. Let's see, uh, what are the rules? Closest without, yes. I should have specified, yes, it is closest without going over takes the prize. Yeah, closest without going over. So that way we only have to do it once. Unless it's like, yeah, no, no, there's, there's we should only have to do this once. I think, I think I know how this works. Alright, um, I think, uh, I think the stream is caught up, so it's technically been 30 seconds, possibly, maybe, but I don't really know. But, let's go ahead and move over so we can see the random number generator. Make it big. It's too big, <laughs> I made it too big. Alright, and let's see who wins. We've got a 17. And 17 is, let's see, closest without going over. I think that might just be Eham with 14. Yeah, congratulations, Eham. You have won our beautiful sun and moon pack. Congratulations. And I know you like to keep your codes, so I will save that for you. And let's jump into this. Ooh, it looks like sun and moon's even gonna be treating us good. We like, we like good treatment. Let's like get a full art. I wanna see a full art card. All right, we got a fairy energy. I love Charger Bug. Charger Bug's delightful. We have a Rotom Dex, Nest Ball, Poplio. <gasps> it's Togemaru! We have a Shelter, Makuhitu, Fancy Firo. Have a Dragonair for the reverse, and our final card is. It may not be a four, but that is a beautiful Sharpedo. Let's get that into a sleeve. They can make sleeves work. Is a lovely hollow foil. I like it when I do giveaways and we actually like get a pull. It makes it so much more exciting. Beautiful. Alrighty, let me get those in a little baggie for you. Let's see. Yes, and I always love Dragonair is just so cute. I mean, I love anything that's a dragon, really. Yes, a moderating reward. Rewards in moderation. Random Chance has decided to reward his amazing moderating efforts. All right, there we go. Yeah, Sharpedo's like super cool. I've always, I've always liked Sharpedo. It's a strange Pokemon, but kind of awesome nonetheless. Oh, also, this um, very off topic, but I just remembered, Kyle. If you are, uh, I don't know if you still are interested, but I still do have a pack of Burning Shadows just sitting on my desk randomly if you uh, still are interested in that. I just haven't put it on the board because I haven't. <laughs> You're very welcome, Eham. I'm happy we were able to get a pool for you. 
giveaways. I like doing giveaways. I, I hope as my channel grows, I'll be able to do lots and lots more. It, it's just exciting to get to, to give people stuff, you know? It's a good time. I like to, to spread the joy of Pokemon when I can. Let's see, put the bulk away. Oh, I think I need another drink of lemonade. Maybe I will double check for orders real quick. Alright, looks like still no more. Yes, yeah, secret, secret stash time. My secret stash is is shrinking, but it's still there. I've still I've still got a little bit in it. I mean, technically the it's it's not like it's even in the 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 secret stash though. It's just like over here. <laughs> but uh, it's just. Not on the boards. It's on the desk, but not on the boards. So your sealed collection. I mean, it's not as big as it used to be. If my if my uh, shelves weren't such an absolute mess right now, I would maybe show it. But it's bad. It's bad. I really need to organize my shelves. I don't know when that will happen, but probably not for like two weeks. <laughs> My, uh, my schedule is kind of, uh, overfilled, pushing things back, like, two weeks now. Because, I mean, after the stream, I got homework. Tomorrow, I've got more homework and probably maybe playing games. Sunday, I just need to rest and, you know, take a break. Monday, it'll be more school and then a stream. And then Tuesday will probably be the same. Wednesday will be s school basically all day. Thursday, probably school and stream. Friday, school and stream. You know, all of that. But maybe, well, sometimes next week, at some point, there will, I will hopefully be doing the Viking funeral. Yes, I do have a Patreon. And it is super snazzy. And I still need to make the Pokemon card funeral, the Viking funeral supporter tier. Because, like, yes. Because we do, in fact, have a someone funding the Viking funeral. We had a, a d donation that I was able to use to buy some stuff today. I'm going to get all ready for an absolutely beautiful, beautiful funeral for the cards. How am I studying? I am in the lovely 11th grade and I get to do English, math, science, US history, and financial literacy and it's all kind of awful but you know at least there's only five classes it could be worse i just i just don't really enjoy school terribly much you know i would really just rather be streaming pokemon i mean that just is a much more enjoyable use of time in my opinion <laughs> Yeah, just just the basics this year. Just stuff that they're making me take. Because gotta graduate high school and all that fun stuff. Woo! Yeah, financial literacy. What makes it even better is my math class is actually um, financial math. So I get like double finances. I honestly don't mind US history. It's probably my favorite of all the classes. I, I've always loved, um, history. It's just, um, it's just tiring to do the work, but I do enjoy the lessons. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Earth Adventure. It was nice having you. Hope you have a lovely Valentine's as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm technically a youngin'. I'm I still have yet to become an adult. What are the three branches of power? The executive, judiciary, and the, uh, the, uh, what's, 
The legislative. That's what it's called. See, I know what I know how it works, but that's technically what I learned in my government class that I took during the first half of the year. It was only a half year long U.S. government class. But now I'm just in U.S. history, where we learn about wars and things. Not really my favorite, but it's still interesting. And I have a lot of friends who are like um, history buffs and stuff. So, 21 and still in high school. High school is just, it's a, it's meany. It's a meany, that's it. That's what I have to say. High school is just mean. It wants to capture us and keep us, it's like, you cannot be free and we're all like, uh, no thank you, we would rather move on. And it's like, no. But alas, we, we must survive. Yeah, I, I mean, even though I'm still in high school, I just, kind of my feeling is, you know, I might as well get started on doing something with my life that I really enjoy. Sure, I'm going to be younger than most people in the game, but it's going to make it easier for me to transition into making it, you know, something that I can really do with my life. A <laughs> plumber when you get the diploma. Yeah, it's a uh, it's interesting how they require such stuff for jobs. Like, I mean, just the whole like system and idea of college is just I could just go on and on about it. It's it's weird how they're like you must understand all of these things that have nothing to do with what you want to do with your life just because we said so or else you can't get a job. So deal with it. Like what? <laughs> I mean, my, my main plan in life is centered around Pokemon at the moment. And sure, that totally sounds not stable, but I mean, I'll, I'll keep growing my channel. Eventually, I'll hopefully get some ad revenue. I will try to grow that. I also want to open a Pokemon store at some point, be an entrepreneur. They want us to be entrepreneurs. Most of the stuff I'm learning at school won't help me, though. <laughs> Where did the pilgrims land in America? I believe they originally landed in Plymouth. Though there were several little spots in the colonies, but I think Plymouth was the first one. I just can't help but think about Roanoke, you know, when I think of pilgrims, because that was the one town that kind of just disappeared, and it was like all mysterious and stuff. They only left like a few weird things behind. Hey, that's cool that you're Korean. Yeah, it was cool getting to open some Korean cards. It's it's fun to see like the different languages. Of course I don't know what they are, but it, it kind of mi mixes it up. Sometimes mystery packs and streams. Yeah, we do have mystery packs with Korean cards and sometimes I'm just like, what is this? Yeah, hopefully we can get a hold of some more mystery packs and then whenever we have Korean cards we'll be like, Earth Adventure, give us your wisdom, teach us what this is. I mean, most of the time I just forget the names of the, the, the Pokemon, but at least sometimes I remember. Okay, we, we, got, we got another question. What were the names of Columbus's ships? Well, now I don't know that one. We, uh, I don't know if we did that early of U.S. history. You know, we, we just started with, like, the founding of the country. Not, I mean, it wasn't really the founding of America, so, like, the pilgrims didn't necessarily apply to the class either, but. Columbus's ships. I don't know. I, I don't know. We, we didn't study that, so I, I, I couldn't say. I mean, I know one of the pilgrims' ships was, like, the Mayflower. That's about all I can tell ya. Oh look, alright. See, see Polka Trainer Austin's got him. He's, he's got us covered. I like, I like that y'all know him. And I'm just like, heh, no I don't know that. <laughs> Pokemon names are different. Yeah, it's interesting how different um, languages uh, change names and stuff. 
the name of this place? I'm, I'm, I'm really not that worried about the names of Columbus's ships. I mean, I think, I think, um, I can just ask random people on YouTube and they can tell me, so why would I need to know that? Am I right? I feel like I'm right. It's, I'm, I'm all good. We're all, we're, we're covered. <laughs> I have random YouTube people to, to teach me about the world. Morning. Much yawn. Columbus, Columbus, Roomba. Yes, Roomba. You know, for all you that remember about uh, how I um, am a Save the Doorbells advocate, there actually was once a an interesting issue between Roombas and doorbells. I mean, there was a whole affair about it, and I had to, like, I even released an official statement on it. It was, it was quite the time. Whoa! Sorry, just knocked my camera. But yeah, luckily it all worked out in the end, and Roombas and doorbells are all good now, but it was kind of, uh, it was kind of rough for a little bit there, not gonna lie. So, uh, there's a little random bit of Roomba knowledge for anybody that, uh, cares. Uh, it's, yeah, might be helpful, might be enjoyable. I mean, I don't know if I posted the video on YouTube of me making my official statement, but I know I put it on my Save the Doorbells Instagram account, which, yes, that does exist. What about the light switch accords? Oh, you mean the light bulb stuff? Uh, cause I will be- I, I still have a video of the light bulbs that I need to post. I was gonna post it, like, earlier, but, um, yeah, I kind of always get set behind. Whenever I say I'm going to do something, expect it to be about two weeks later, because for some reason that's how long it takes me. I mean, like I said earlier, I'm just always two weeks behind. I, uh, yeah. But maybe I'll try and get that tomorrow, or maybe even tonight. No, probably not tonight. I have other stuff that I need to do tonight, including school, drawing a limited edition promo uh Pikachu funeral attendant um what else did I need to do oh I need to draw a picture for a friend too and a picture for my English class I'm basically gonna be drawing tonight oh you just made something up to sound fancy well I mean I can look into the light switch accords and tell y'all about them Oh, I love this. The ceiling fans are like, they are just a, a really legit and sincere group. I mean, once I had an entire conversation with a ceiling fan, I, I was upset with someone, and so I went to go talk to a ceiling fan, and, and you know, they just really listened to me and helped walk me through it, and I felt so much better later. So yeah, ceiling fans, they're honestly... Ceiling fans should, like, be our life counselors or something, because they just, they've got it down. They really do. Poke trainer Austin, how can you hate doorbells? That hurts my soul. Doorbells are an endangered species. Like, they're, but they're so, th they're so beautiful. When they're in the wild and they're free. And, I, I mean, I understand hating doorbell oppression and keeping them stuck on walls but just hating them in general i can't e i can't even fathom that hating doorbells no they're glorious glorious things final test to us history what is the two-word phrase president trump relies on most um, so, so, so here's the thing, um, I don't, it's, um, it's not moder modern events, and, uh, I don't keep up to date on news, cause it just makes me sad, so, sorry about that, I, uh, cannot, uh, answer that, cause I don't know. Oh, no, 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 that, that's the thing, is that 
you should knock, because doorbells are being oppressed by being forced to ring for us, when all we need to do is knock. We should knock and set the doorbells free and not use them. So see, see, you're actually, you're actually on the right track. Now, doormats, that's a cause. You know, that's that's a good point. The doormats, they really, they kind of have it rough, too. It's, there's so much oppression just around us constantly. Doorbells, doormats. I mean, the doorknobs aren't necessarily oppressed. They just have a lot of weird political issues between them. It's ridiculous. It's got door in the name. It's going to have issues. Yeah, I've had to deal with a lot of, uh, negotiating between doorknobs. That's why I accidentally say doorknobs a lot when I'm talking about doorbells, because I just, I can't get over all the, the disagreements I've had to deal with between doorknobs. You, you would be surprised by how much they can just fight. People just walk all over them. They really do. The poor doormats. I mean, in the very least, though, I don't know anything that, um that actual doors seemed to be bothered with. Though, you know, maybe maybe they get kind of offended that, you know, every other thing related to them gets the, uh, the, uh, what, what was I saying? I don't know anymore. Oh, now I got it. I now I remember what I was going to say. I was going to say, maybe, maybe the doors get jealous that all the things around them are always getting so much attention, but the doors just, just kind of are just there. <laughs> You're very welcome, Kyle, and thank you for coming. It was a lots of fun, and heck yes, so excited for Shining Fates. I'm basically gonna live in the stores for a few days. Don't get me started on windshield wipers, for reals. My goodness, I had to use my window wipers tonight, and they just threw a fit the whole time. They were just like, eee! Eee! And I'm like, bro, why? And they're just like, eee! I'm like, you guys are just so difficult. And they just kept doing it, and so I kind of just was like, yikes. Luckily, the rain wasn't bad, though, and I could turn them off eventually, but like, my goodness. They just, them window the windshield wipers just they have got a mind of their own and I am not a fan of it I mean I mean it's not like they're not entitled to having a mind of their own but I mean the the problem there is uh that they uh they're just so inconsiderate and they just complain like you know if you really really hate your job just like don't but like Instead, they just, they just, they just scream at us. They literally scream at us. They don't even try to, like, talk to us. They just, they just scream at us instead of, <sighs> instead of trying to work it out, like, diplomatically, they're just like, <coughs> and I'm just like, yo, I don't appreciate that. <sighs> oh, yeah, of course, Austin. I'm always happy to help out when I can. Life is easier when when everybody's just happy to work together. Your windshield wiper impression needs to be a sub alert. <laughs> Thank you. Uh I I think that might be a comment compliment on my windshield wiper impression. I don't really know how to take a comment comment compliment any of the above on a windshield wiper impression but uh thank you i mean i feel like it's pretty accurate huh if you you, if you heard my windshield wiper tonight you would be like yeah i mean at first the first time i heard it tonight it surprised me because i was like whoa what is that is it something like like what is that noise is there an alarm going off and like a minute later i'm like it's literally the windshield wiper the windshield wiper is screaming at me. And so that was that. It was also kind of fun, though, because uh, while I was out in the little bit of rain, I pulled into a parking lot, and it was, like, a huge empty one, and there was, like, this gigantic puddle. 
and I got to drive my Jeep through it, and all the water was like, whoosh, and it was beautiful. So that was kind of fun. I kind of uh, enjoyed that. I enjoyed it more than I should have, because like, I know like, you know, driving through water may not be like the bestest idea, but like, oh, it just, it was so satisfying just seeing like the water go whoosh. And then, you know, then I just drove through the rest of the normal parking lot and parked and went inside and was like, hey, do you guys have Pokemon here? And they're like, it might be over there. And I went and looked and it wasn't, and so I left. And I didn't get to drive through the puddle again because there was a different exit closer to where uh, I needed to exit. So uh, that was a little bit uh, sad. Didn't get to go through the puddle twice, but it was very fun the time I did go through it. it made me feel like a true... Uh, a true Jeep owner should. It felt so powerful and, I don't know, off-roady? I mean, it wasn't even off-road. I mean, I guess unless you consider a parking lot not a road. But, yes, it was a good time. Can confirm. Alright, I think... I was only going to go about a half hour, but we've gone 40 minutes over that. <laughs> so I think... I'll give it like five minutes for any more orders that may come in. I may open one pack myself. But then I'm gonna wrap it up and go eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> so yeah, we'll give it a few minutes. I gotta decide what I'm gonna open though. What should I what should I finish up the stream with? Should I just go with something pretty uh stereotypical for the times and like open vivid voltage or maybe a soaring shield should i do something a little more interesting and exciting and maybe do fates collide maybe just do something random like another sun and moon or guardians rising i have so many choices there are so many choices yeah it should help me decide yes please all right we've got to vote for darkness ablaze I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of personally leaning towards some of the older sets. But at the same time, Darkness of Blaze is not a bad one to open either. But I've got a few of those, right? Got three. So yeah, that's, that's an amount. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more lemonade real quick while I uh, wait. Alright, you see, Fates Clyde sounds cool. And you haven't even seen Fates Clyde often. I think that decides it. We should, we should open Fates Clyde because Eham says so. And Austin, you need to experience Fates Clyde. And also, look at this. It's got, it's got like a golden movie on it. Look how absolutely beautiful that is. Like, it's just fancy. Beautiful. I mean, the other one I've got has a uh, Delphox on it. Or no, is it? Yeah, I think it's Delphox. Here, I'll even let you guys vote. So we're gonna we're gonna do Fates Collide for sure. But which art should we do? Should we do Delphox or Lugia? They're both pretty fancy. I don't know what the other two arts from this set are. Wonder if I have any others like packaged away somewhere. Some dollar store packs of Fates Clyde. That's kind of cool. Um, oh yeah, I have another Del Fox pack of Fates Clyde in one of my boxes I haven't opened yet. But I think that might be all. I don't know. I may have more Fates Clyde hiding somewhere. I really want to know what what other pack art they have for it. I have a look in my saving up for a thousand subs stash box. Maybe there is Fates Clyde in there. If not, I should really put some in. Um, got a lot of exciting stuff in here. Oh look, I do. It's another Del Fox. I have so many Del Fox arts. That's three Del Fox. One Lugia. Four Lugia, all alone. But so many doll boxes. I guess we just won't get to know what the other Fates Collide art is at the moment. Yeah, I uh, 
Those are the only ones I have, I believe. All right, it looks like it is gonna be Lugia. Delphox, you go back over there. Let's open the one and only Lugia. Whoa, that just drips nice and smoothly. There's a code card for anybody that wants to experience Fate's Collide on a device. Whoosh. And let's go ahead and see what's in here. We got an Omentite to start us off. I kind of like like the, the undersea ruins. We have a Scorched Earth. Old Amber Aerodactyl. We have Meowth. Oh, it's little Snivy, Snivy, Snivy. We have Solosis. Cute little Fennekin. We have a Wismer. A burning for the reverse on our final code is... Ooh, that's beautiful. I mean, it's not even a hollow, but I love that. I seriously love that. That's so cool. I feel like that deserves a sleeve just because it's Moltres and it's absolutely beautiful art. Like, I literally think I saw a picture of this exact card on Instagram earlier today. Like, seriously, though, like, I love the colors and the style and just everything. That's amazing. Zygarde and Alakazam. Oh, yeah. We opened a Fates Collide earlier, and it was Zygarde. Huh. I totally forgot. I guess I have no memory. But, yeah, either way, I am quite happy with this Moltres. I'd say that's a nice way to end off the stream. You can't go wrong with Moltres. Called it M. Why did they call it Aerodactyl instead of just old Amber since that's the name of the game? I don't know. I guess it just is what it is. Old Amber Aerodactyl. It's kind of weird, but uh... You know, you do you, Pokemon Company. We will uh, let you uh, just uh, do that. <laughs> well guys I think that'll be all for the tonight then I say tonight was a really fun stream and tomorrow will most likely be a 400 subscriber special so I don't know if we'll be doing ripping chips but I guess we'll find out when it happens I guess it just it just depends on how tomorrow goes but either way, I think I'll probably be streaming. But yeah, we will see. Thank you guys for coming tonight. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the evening. And I will see you all again soon.